There never seems to be many people that stayed behind. I can go countless days without seeing another person. Of all the people I knew before, I'm the only one left. When I was young, I used to play with other kids that lived in my neighborhood. We would play for hours. Never once did we keep track of the time. Now I'm the only one left in my neighborhood. Sometimes I wonder if they're still playing somewhere in a place that I don't understand. I remember that name was mystifying to me, Transcension. The word was on the tip of everyone's tongues. People hastily spoke of it in passing, the hushed words on their lips. An escape, they said, a way to move on to whatever lay beyond. Even so, nobody seemed to truly understand what it meant to eliminate physicality altogether. I asked my father once what the word meant. He calmly explained to me that transcension was a way of abandoning the pain, a delicate method of peacefully leaving the physical body behind by freeing the spirit through lifting a series of inner barriers. Everything dreadful, all the sorrow of the world would be felt no more. I struggled to understand. Even now, I can never find the line that separates transcension and death. The people around me slowly started to disappear. It was troubling at first, a person vanishing without a trace. A neighbor, a teacher, a childhood friend. Over time, I became accustomed to it with the knowledge they had transcended. One day, I entered my home to hear a deafening silence. I called out to my parents, no response. I walked around the rooms, checked behind every door. Though there was no clear indication, I knew what my parents had done. They had left me behind, alone in the physical world. The betrayal I felt was numbed only by the depression that soon followed. Life continued as the people around me dwindled. All of them transcended. Life got lonelier and lonelier. I tried to live as normally as possible, though I had trouble coming to terms with being alone. The day eventually came when my last close friend had transcended without leaving as much as a notice. It was then that I knew that what I had been putting off for so many years had now become unavoidable. I knew that in order to transcend, a series of inner barriers needed to be lifted. The first barrier, the soul, would allow me to catch brief glimpses of the beyond. The second, the mind, would serve to purify or to erase. The last, the body, would allow full immersion into the beyond. Only then would I be fully transcended, my physicality losing its purpose. In order to begin the intricate process of transcension, I tried to focus on the moments in my life that had brought me great pain. Thoughts of pain and misery are the building blocks of transcension. I pictured precise moments of suffering clearly in my head. Faintly, I felt gentle ripples dragging me further and further away from known reality. I felt like I was floating down a current, gradually growing stronger and stronger. I could almost feel my hands in the water. Just as I thought I was about to be dragged under, I woke. I found myself standing in a world adjacent. The first inklings of a beyond for me took the form of a winding landscape of decayed life. The realm felt familiar to me as if it was a real place I had stumbled upon. I took note of my striking surroundings. Time in this place seemed to stretch on forever, 
but yet seemed bounded together. The sensations of water returned, dragging me away from the realm. I could feel the barrier separating my spirit and soul breaking. I felt myself entering a landscape of confusion, enclosed in darkness save for faint spots of light. I frustratingly traversed my surroundings, searching for a means to escape the madness. Gradually, I felt waves of memory washing over me. I could see faintly within a hazed frame visions of pain, horrible pain, loneliness. Every second of agony I've ever felt in my life was unleashed onto my psyche. Slowly, I could start to feel the barrier separating my mind and spirit cracking in half. My mind went completely blank. As the barrier gave, I felt the sensations of current tug me further along, away from the darkness. Cautiously, a faint gleaming light started to grow amidst the batches of misery. Brighter and brighter it grew until it became blinding. I felt the current weakening, leading into a luminous realm without boundary. I felt myself become lighter as if floating away. I felt warm. Distantly in the light, I caught brief glimpses of forgotten hopes, dreams that had long since left my mind. I remembered the naive promise I had made to myself in my childhood to swim in every ocean in the world before I died. I had promised myself I would learn how to play a flute, an ambition I had long given up on. I remembered the sincere promise I had made myself the day my parents transcended, that I would never abandon anyone or anything. I could feel the hesitance festering within that had caused me to bounce back to physicality. The sensations of wanted reality began to flood in. After having seen for myself the fabled beyond, I knew that it was within the physical world where I truly belonged. A long forgotten feeling washed over me, a feeling of peace. I realized the reason why I could not seem to transcend was due to the lingering hopes I still had yet to fulfill which had bounded me to tangible existence. This spoke to me like a hidden truth exhumed and revealed to me in the light of day. There are still things in my life, true life, that I want to do before I reach any form of beyond.